Here we're going to take a look at a classic example of um, how we can use modulus to represent the amount of change that we can give somebody uh, with the fewest amount of coins. Uh, so we're going to call this one coins. Um, and one of the things that our program is going to need, it's going to need to know the value of all of the common Canadian coins. So each one is going to require a constant. So a little bit of setup at the beginning of this program. Um, we're going to call them all the name of the coin and then the, uh, the letters VAL for the value and how many cents each of them is worth. So our Toonie is worth uh, 200. Our Looney is worth um, 200 and then 100. Uh, one thing that you can do uh, is if you hit the insert key on the keyboard, whatever you type is going to replace um, the text that's already there. So if you pick like a, a, a similarly length um, file or uh, variable name, uh, then you can easily replace it. So I'm going to go uh, dime and then take off a couple letters here for the dime value. I'm going to uh, take this to be my nickel. So nickel val, that one worked out just perfectly. Uh, and uh, there used to be a, a coin called a penny, and I'm going to represent that here too. Um, so that's going to be one. A nickel is worth five. A uh, dime is worth 10. And a quarter is worth uh, 25. OK. So I've left off the 50 cent piece because those uh, aren't commonly seen just to make the program a little more interesting. Okay, so now we're also going to need um, an amount of, so int cents. So how much money they are giving us represented in cents. So if they're giving us $3.12, they're gonna represent that as 312. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do here is we need a count of how many of each of the coins we uh, we are going to have. So toonies, loonies, quarters, dimes, uh, nickels, and pennies. Okay. Um, moving along. Um, now let's ask the user how many cents they have. So see out. Um, how many cents do you have? And we'll see in the value of cents. Okay. So imagine they gave you, say, 783 cents. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to figure out, okay, um, how many toonies. We're going to start with toonies. How many toonies could we get out of this? So this is a division problem. So we divide the amount of cents by 200 and then we get how many uh, full toonies we have. So the amount of toonies is going to be the amount of cents divided by, um, now we've got a variable for this, toonie val. And now what we want to do is, uh, so that's going to be three. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to find out, okay, after we have done that, how many cents are we going to have left over that we have to split amongst the other coin types? So we are going to change the value of cents to uh, become equal to, not the cents divided by the toonie val, but the cents modulus the toonie val. So you can see that one of these lines of code is giving us how many, uh, the result of a division, and the other one is giving us the remainder of the division. But we're using it this way because since a whole bunch of them, 600 in this case, are going to be taken up by this first line, and then we're going to be left with 183 uh, for the second line. Now we can actually just repeat this process for the other coin types. So the amount of loonies that we have will be the amount of cents divided by loonie val. Uh, oops, got to keep a capital 
And don't forget to change it for both of these. And then all we have to do is repeat this process for all the other coin types. So uh, this one is going to be quarters. Uh, this one is going to be uh, quarter val. Ah, quarter val. Um, then we're going to move on to uh, dimes. Dime, not dime or val, dime val. Uh, you can also highlight and then just type in the replacement. Uh, that's always handy. Okay, uh, dime, uh, nickels, oh, this should be dimes. Uh, I've kept them all plural so that it's easier for me to, to do that. Uh, nickel, nickel val, nickel val. And now here, let's, let's follow this through. So um, toonies, uh, this is gonna be three. And then we're left with 183. And when we divide it by 100, that's going to be 1. And then we've got 83 cents left over. Quarters, we're going to have 3. 3 quarters. And then we're going to have uh, 8 cents left over. Um, and then for dimes, we've only got 8, so we've got 0 here. So this actually does not change anything. Um, we've got eight left over. Nickel, it's gonna be one, and then we'll have three cents left over. Now, here's the thing is then the last step is gonna be a little bit different because uh, we've already got the amount of pennies. It's just the amount of cents. So each penny uh, was worth one cent. So pennies is just going to be equal to however many cents are left over after this entire process. And then what we want to do is just display all of them. So um, see out. Uh, toonies. Toonies. I'm going to do a little copying and pasting to help me out here. Uh, so the next one I've got is loonies. The next one I have is quarters. The next one I have is dimes. The next one that I have is uh, nickels. Nickels. And then the very last one that I have is going to be pennies. Although, you know, I, if we're not including that coin type, um, I could just say like leftover cents or something like that. Okay, so let's run the program and we'll see what we've got. How many cents do you have? Okay, I'm gonna go with the 783 example. And here we go, I've got three toonies, one loony, three quarters, zero dimes, one nickel, uh, and the three pennies left over. Um, so you can do this for a whole bunch of different things, um, kind of when you need to um, use some amount of something and then um, split it into different containers or, or whatever, it's the same example. Um, so yet one more example of how we can use remainder to solve a problem.